Hey guys, welcome back to The Average. I'm Steph, I'm The Average Artist, and today, I mean, yeah, you've read correctly, we're gonna do a book tag because I've never done one before, and as you guys know, I'm really into books, I'm a writer. I mean, is that, can I just say I'm a writer without doing that? You know what I mean? No, I can't, apparently. I'm a writer. <laughs> artist etc and if you're new here welcome hi please watch lots of my videos it helps the little baby channel grow and i'm really happy that you're here because i'm gonna do a book tag today what is a book tag may you ask a book tag is when people of the book community answer questions about books they like or for instance like there's a theme of the type of questions that are asked so this week i'm going to be doing a reading habits book tag. Why does she, mm. This video, I'm gonna do a reading habits book tag. And yes, I have my notebook here. It's holographic, which is, I know it's not 2017 anymore, but I still like holographic. Okay, so roll the, uh, um, roll the bad drawings. <laughs> No, people told me they don't like it when I'm self-deprecating about my drawings, so roll the good drawings, go! Okay, so the first question is, do you have a certain place at home for reading? And yes, I do. I mean, sometimes I read on the sofa if I'm really desperate to finish a book, I'll read in the day, but always I usually read at night. I've just realised that sometimes I read in the bath as well, which is a good place, but usually the main place is in my bed when everyone else is going to sleep and I'm just alone and I have quiet time. You know what I mean? Just quiet time when there's no cat meowing or <laughs> anything like that. I was about to be harsh about Chris, but then I was like, he's not really that annoying. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I think that's a great time to just wind down. And I don't always do this. Sometimes I, you know, I have a bad habit of watching YouTube a lot when I'm in bed as a winding down method to sleep. That just wakes me up. So. I think it's good to read before bed and also there's been this study where it said it's really good to read every day like make a habit of it it's good for your brain okay guys it's good for your brain i'm only helping you out here the next question is do you use a bookmark or random piece of paper now please don't hate on me because a bookmark is great and everything but you lose them. Mm -hmm. That's my reason and around a piece of paper. What am I, a peasant? No. Okay, you're gonna hate me and a lot of people are probably unsubscribing right now because I dog ear the corners of the page I'm on. I know, shock horror, but actually I prefer it and I prefer books having a little bit of wear and tear because it means it's been loved, it's been read. I like that about books. I don't want no straight off the shelf, never been read book. I like a little bit of character to books, so that's the reason why. Let me know if you do this as well. Let me know if you're also a heathen. The next question is, can you stop reading or do you have to stop, like, can you just stop reading whenever or can you, do you have to wait for like the next chapter to come up? And my answer is yes, I have to wait for the next chapter usually. If it's a book that I'm hating and just getting through to just read it, just finish it, then I'll stop whenever. But if it's a book that I really like, I have to get to the end of the chapter because I know the way that chapters are structured is that they're little stories within themselves. So like each chapter should be like beginning, middle, end and leave you wanting to read the next chapter. So I always try to leave it at the end of a chapter because then I know I'll pick the book up again the next day. Does that make any sense to anyone? Are these just book nerd things? I don't know. I hope not. I hope you understand me, people, internet. Okay guys, we're only halfway through. How you doing there? You good? Okay. Next question. Do you eat or drink whilst reading? No. No, because as I explained before, I usually read eight at night when I've done all my eating. Unless, you know, there's a midnight craving, but no, that doesn't really happen to me. Uh, or if, you know, if, if it's daytime, then I might be drinking a coffee or something, but usually no, or water. Nothing special, I think no, not really. 
I mean, that was a really convoluted way of answering that question, wasn't it? I'm, I don't know, the, answer, the short answer is no, yeah? Okay, good, the answer's no. Next question is multitasking. Do you listen to music? And it says here TV, but why would you, I can understand music, but why would you have the TV on if you're reading? It doesn't make any sense at all. What is that? I mean, this question has made me unreasonably angry, hasn't it? Music I can listen to. I don't put it on to listen to whilst I'm reading, but I can block it out. I think, does that question mean that? Like, can you block out noise around you? Sometimes there, there's been a time when I've been on a reading binge and Chris has been playing games, but we both wanted to be in the same room. So I sat with him and listened to the game in the background, but it wasn't distracting me or anything. But it's just so, you know, we, we're close together, even though we're completely doing completely different things. That was a little insight into Chris and Steph's lives. The next question is reading at home or everywhere? And I'm gonna let book notes down because they would usually answer everywhere because if you're a reader and you like reading, of course you're gonna be reading walking like Belle does in Beauty and the Beast, but no, no, I don't like that. I like reading in my spot. When I'm outside, which is rare, I'm gonna be outside and be looking at stuff. No, I can't read uh, everywhere. Maybe I'll, re I'll read on a plane or I can't read in a bus or any transport other than like a plane because I'll get exceedingly car sick. So I guess the answer is no. I'm feeling like there's a lot of negativity around these questions and just unreasonably angry at some of them. Like, no, you can't read everywhere. I know my sister, she reads and walks at the same time. I'm just like, what is that? Why? Why are you doing that? Hello, hi. I forgot to ask one of the questions because I'm a complete idiot. And that question was whether you read one book at a time or you can read several at a time. This one's quite tricky because I don't think I read several books at a time, but I do mark down, like if I start a book, I will put it on Goodreads that I'm reading it. And then if I get distracted because I think the book isn't what I thought it was gonna be, or I'm not enjoying it, then I'll start another book. And then I'll also list that on my Goodreads. I'm reading that as well. So these books kind of stack. And sometimes I finish um, ones that I'm bored of, I go back to them and I just finish them because I go back to them just because I want to finish them. Like sometimes I don't want a book to defeat me. So that's the answer in the short term. Yes, I can read a few books at the same time, but technically not because I'm not actually spending, you know, one day reading one book, the next day reading another, unless one of them is like a graphic novel and then the other is just a novel. Um, normal novel then yes I can do that I don't know I don't know if that is the correct answer what is the correct answer what is life I'm a professional that's kind of my answer that's it I sometimes read lots of books sometimes no but technically I don't either great answer right brilliant job really explain myself so well there <laughs> um, the next and final question, because I skipped one, which was repeat, read out loud or silently. It's like, well, depends on if you need to read out loud, then why would you? I don't know. So the next question is, do you read ahead or skip pages? Okay. Here's the thing. I've heard people say that they like spoilers, like they like flipping to the end and finding out what is gonna happen and Here's my answer to that. What? Fresh hell is that? No, don't do that. What's the point of that? You might as well just be told the whole story plan out in your face. Like what, who? I'm sorry, I can't. <laughs> I, I just, I can't even explain why that annoys me. Cause I guess it's not spoiling it for me. People like their own stuff, but. I would definitely not enjoy knowing what happens at the end and I would not flick through. I always, I do flick through to the end to flip to see how many pages are in a book to kind of, to estimate um, how much time it's going to take me to finish reading it. But no, I'm always like, hey, what is it? Don't look at the page. Don't look at the, what's happening. Because what's the point? I mean, unless it's a really 
a really thriller book where you think something awful is going to happen you don't know if you can take it because that's just not your thing then don't read the book i guess Okay guys, that has been my first ever book tag video. Let me know if you like this style of video because I kind of like doing it. I like book tags and I like I'm not a booktuber. The holy grail that is booktube, I wish that I could be, I guess. I don't know, I don't read enough books, I think. I'm sort of a, a, an, an average reader. Oh, oh guys. Oh, there's no one here. There's no one here, so. Sad and alone. Anyway, let me know if you want to see more of these types of videos. Some more exciting news that happened this week, I mean it's exciting for me, it's probably not that exciting for you, is that I opened my Redbubble store, I finally got round to it, so if you want to see, if you want to get prints of my work, I don't know, then let me know which kind of prints you'd like and then I can set it up on there. Um, no pressure or anything, just to know what kind of things might sell. Well, that would be is sorry <laughs> don't know yeah so i've got that and also because this was book related if you want to read my book ah oh, then you can and it's just on amazon it's 90p i think i'm keep lying about the price i think it's like a dollar something or 99p if you're in england mm -hmm. quite sure it's the first of the trilogy so i'm working on the other two books at the moment so it'd be really cool if you guys should check that out also i have a goodreads because this video is book related you might want to go check out my goodreads and see what i'm reading maybe we can be friends on goodreads you want to be my friend no one wants to be my friend let's be real okay thanks for watching guys please like and subscribe to this and i will see you next time bye